Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Animated Stories. This week we have Dave Hill tells a story, Patrick Mahoney and Caitlin Downing created this great puppeteer, I don't know what it even is. Enjoy it guys. Um, I'm gonna tell a five minute story exactly. And just to back it up a little bit, as many of you who have been following my career from the very beginning, are well aware. In addition to my unstoppable show business career, I'm also one of the greatest rock musicians of all time. Not long ago, uh, one of my bands got asked to tour uh, Japan, and so I was like, all right, fine, we'll do it. We got on a plane with our guitars and our tightest pants and our cocks and balls and everything, we just like flew the fuck over to Japan and started rocking the fuck out of people. Pretty much wherever the people in Japan just need their asses handed to them by our unstoppable rock music, which just like, kicked them in the nuts with this, you know, the songs we had written in, in our spare time. And there's so many great things about it, but my favorite thing about Japan, hands down, is the toilets. And if you've been there, you probably know what I'm talking where this is headed. And it's not like in America where we have just like one basic kind of toilet, and it's like a fine toilet. I'm not complaining. Like, I have a decent enough track record with it. I'm going to tell you about my favorite toilet, and this is a toilet I'd seen the whole time we were over there on tour, but I never felt like I had the level of privacy or intimacy I needed to really go to town on this thing. We finally got to Tokyo, the last stop of the tour, and I finally had my own hotel room, and it had this toilet in it, which was like, in my mind, like the holy grail of Japanese, and of all toilets, not just Japanese toilets. Anyway, to, to the naked eye, this toilet, it just it looks like a regular toilet. So you're like, oh, that's not a big deal. But then on the side, there's like this command center, sort of like in a jet fighter or something. And, and you know how, in, like in Europe, they have the bidet. It's like this European, like, ass-blasting machine or whatever. Anyway, in Japan, they combined the toilet and the bidet into this one futuristic thing. I can't even wrap my head around. Our last show is like two hours away. I know this is no time to be getting in any sort of trouble like this, but I'm like, this is it. This is like my time to shine. So I go in the bathroom and I shut the door behind me, even though it's my own room. And so I sit down, I use the toilet, and I'm pretty far along in the transaction when I look down on the command center and there's like this button on it with like what looks like the letter M and like these water droplets coming down on it and that's like the butt button, right? And then in front of that there's like this volume knob or something. So I just crank it up as high as it'll go because I'm just like, fuck it, I'm on vacation, you know? And I close my eyes and I hit the I hit the butt button. This jet stream comes out, and I don't know if there was an, ele- an electronic eye on this thing that like scanned me or what, like found me right where I needed to be to be found. And like up until that point in my life, I never gave much thought to like, oh, if I get blasted in the anus with water, at what temperature and water pressure do I want it to be? But it doesn't matter because the Japanese have figured that out for you too. I, as it turns out, it's exactly 72 degrees. And it's not so much like being like poked in the anus over and over again. It's more just like, just kind of like, just like, just saying, like, just like gently tapped in the anus over and over again. It's beautiful. So I just start like hitting the butt button over and over again, like five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Then after like 45 minutes of this, I'm like drenched in sweat and I'm like fading in and out of consciousness. And, and I look down in the command center thing, and there's this other button, and it has, a, like, a silhouette of a lady. Like, well, that's the lady parts button. You know, but I'm like, well, I'm not a lady. And, like, I wasn't even sure how the electronic eye would assess the situation. Like, I didn't want to, like, confuse the technology or whatever. But then I'm just like, fuck it. When am I going to start living my life, you know? So I close my eyes again. And I hit the lady parts button, and it just like blasts me like right, like in the, I guess like the medical term for this is like the, the taint. How did I go my whole life without getting blasted in the taint with water? I start hitting the taint button over and over again, and then I go back to the butt button, then I go back to the taint button, I go back to the butt button, and I'm going like butt, taint, butt, butt, taint. Finally, after like two hours of this, like, I'm like, 
looking down over my own body and like I can see like this bright light that people like talk about when they have near death experiences that just like transcend like this whole other world and finally like one of the guys in the band bangs on the door and bursts in he's like come on we gotta go rock the fuck out of Tokyo so I pull up my pants and I marched out of there and I rocked the fuck out of Tokyo with a cleaner ass and tan area than anyone who's ever rocked the fuck out of Tokyo before thank you Subscribe to this channel if you like this. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Uh, I'll see you guys next Wednesday.